You can't teach speed, and Cincinnati wide receiver Tyler Scott has a ton of it. Before the NFL Draft Combine, we wanted you, Ray, to know all about him, and we'll try to get it all covered on this two-minute drill. To start off, like I said, Tyler Scott has blazing speed. As a deep threat, defenses are forced to play back and provide safety help over the top, or they're left suffering the consequences. That play speed also translates over to getting the ball in open space, as with even a crease of opportunity, Scott has the ability to turn on the Jets and take the play to the house for a big game. At the Combine, I'm expecting him to run somewhere in the 4-3 range, and that is very impressive. Because of his big playability, Scott often gets plenty of space underneath as well, which makes him plenty viable to depend on in the short passing game too. Coupled with that speed, Scott offers solid yard after catch ability, whether he's taking on hits and remaining upright and stable like he does plenty of times on tape, or it's just the ability to throw him the football and just let him make a play, Scott has the ability to contribute in a multitude of ways. And while I didn't see Cincinnati get him any manufactured touches, I think Scott could provide plenty of value in that department to an offense. The upside though of a steady, big splash playmaker to an NFL offense is certainly there. However, Scott has plenty of concerns in his game, the biggest one being that his film is littered with drops, the reason being because he often wants his catch point to be at his chest. Not only can that lead to more bounce and less dependability in open catches, but that also allows defenders a better chance at making a play on the football and disrupting the catch in contested situations as well. For a pro comparison, I think Tyler Scott is very similar to Darnell Mooney of the Chicago Bears. Mooney has a similarly small frame and had drop issues at Tulane that had people weary of him as a prospect, but he stepped up big time in the NFL and looks to be a solid receiver that will stick around for a while in the league. Scott has some similar issues he'll have to overcome, but I think doing so is certainly achievable. Overall, I expect Tyler Scott to impress at the NFL Combine with his lightning quick speed and start to get consistent talk as a day two prospect. In the right offense where he's playing off of an undeniable wide receiver one, I think Scott could flourish as a deep threat that is hard to account for in an already established passing game. While Scott has some technique and physicality concerns, the upside is worth gambling on. And if you want to get a splash player, you gotta be willing to swim. And that's the two minute drill.